peace, yo. This is Lord Supreme Wise Mind of Law. Yo, I just wanted to make this video real quick um, because this is pretty cold out here. And I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to teach it real. All right? All right, we're dealing with today's Supreme Mathematics. That's wisdom equality. That's two and six. All right? There's two sixes. All right? One represents good equality. The other one represents bad equality. You know what I'm saying? Um, wisdom is using discernment. It is making a proper judgment call. It is using judicious and practicing sagacity and being prudent in your approach. Okay? So, when we deal with wisdom equality, we're dealing with being very wise and very discerning. Meaning, making a proper judgment call on what you put your time and energy and effort in. That's your equality. That's your duties, responsibilities, and your business that you got to handle. So when it comes down to dealing with self, wisdom equality is meaning that you got to make the best decision for yourself on how you're going to take care of your responsibilities and do your duties. Because overall, if you're not going to take care of your duties, you're destroying the very, the very essence of who you are as a person by stagnating. Because when you stagnate, there's no growth. And that's how you destroy yourself. So the best way to constantly keep building and keep adding on to yourself is constantly using that wisdom or that experience to help you get through the endeavors of life in order for you to properly invest the time, energy, and effort through your experiences to help you reach the next level of life that you're trying to reach. So, what am I saying? Um, take the time for yourself, evaluate, use your experiences, and use your discretion to help you make a better decision on how to invest your time, energy, and effort into the things that you're doing. Good example. Everybody don't deserve your time. Why? Because some people are not deserving of that. That means that in some case, shape, form, or fashion, they don't fit the description of what you're looking for. In other words, if you're here to try to complete and rise to the next level of life, and they're constantly doing the same thing, being stagnated in the same spot over and over going every time you come amongst them, then they're not doing something right. That means that they're not tapping into their potential to be able to see the greatness in themselves. Because they're not taking the time, energy, and effort to use their experiences as a learning tool to catapult them to the next level and build and elevate. So another thing is you got to be careful who you share your time with. You got to be careful who you share your energy with, your vibes, your frequencies, everything. You have to be wise. And being wise is make, it's making a purposeful choice for yourself as well as for other people. You don't want to waste nobody's time. You don't want nobody's time wasted on you. So, like I said, wisdom equality is being able to make the best decision for yourself in order for you to take care of your duties and responsibilities more wisely and more efficiently so that way you can rise and elevate to the next level in life. You know what I'm saying? So, just wanted to leave you guys with that because at the end of the day, you always got to keep it simple and teach the real. I do, the, I do my best when it comes down to dropping supreme mathematics in a simple form that a baby can understand so what am i saying wisdom equality is basically being wise with your equality and knowing how to invest your time properly into the things that you need to do in order for you to catapult and move to the next level in life so that way you won't be destroying the very fabric of your essence of who you are which is great all right so with that being said, you brothers and sisters, take it easy. You guys have a blessed night. And also be wise with your equality. Take your time and invest the right time in the things that deserve time and that need time. All right? This is how you teach without teaching. This is how you teach with unspoken words. And this is how you build. And this is how you elevate yourself. Peace.